Okay, now we have one more contestant. This is the team from Casanovia. Okay? So our, our fashion student is Andrea uh, Cart uh, Cartwright, and she hails from East Greenbush. Has anybody ever heard of East Greenbush? I have. <laughs> Imagine growing up in East Greenbush and wanting to become a great fashion designer. That takes vision. Um, she, Andrea was exposed to her, her fashion influence and exposure was limited as a child. And so this allowed her to develop a strong individuality and a strong imagination. Isn't that great? Um, she expresses feminine silhouettes with masculine detailing. And she, she shines in non-traditional mediums such as raw wool and newspaper. Uh, with her business partner, Michelle Boyd, she will show us something we shall remember, they say. Her teammate is Michelle Boyd from North Aurora, Illinois. Michelle loves dessert, don't we all? Well, she, Michelle takes it another step further. Um, when she discovered that art and dessert are delicious together, she deserted graphics and illustration as her sole expression and became the maker of, name of her company, Good Gracious Cakes. Is that perfect? We just sang about grace tonight. Well, she makes good gracious cakes. Now, she freelances making cake and food styles with Wilton Industries, teaching and co-organizing cake walk shows, as well as starring in, um, um, oh, The Ultimate Cake Off, and Extreme Christmas Trees. Mm, that sounds like a sugar plum delight. Um, their outfit is being modeled by someone from Casanova College, whom we don't know. <laughs> Our mystery, mo mystery model. What is your name? Erin O'Malley. Nice to meet you, Erin. Oh, Molly, welcome aboard. Here we go. <laughs>
Um, to, in order to up the, we want to make sure that each product was represented. Um, we could have made all the discs out of one product, which our first choice was gum paste. So the white ones that you see and the light blue ones are gum paste, but the darker blue ones are all hand um, cast uh, isomol. The zipper is made completely from the sugar veil. What we did was we made a strip of the sugar veil to make the zipper tape, and then I made a mold from an, an existing zipper and piped the sugar veil into it and then trimmed it so that it looks like an actual zipper and it has the flexibility that we need for the bodice. And how did you go about attaching the individual discs to the garden? Um, Michelle sent them to me and I hand-sewed each disc onto a Muslim piece. So each disc is sewn on with red lacing. How does she get in and out? How, what's the opening? Um, on the back underneath the like, sugar bill, we have uh, separated. So we just kind of seal her in after she has the box. From the look of things, her glasses appear to be also made out of ice cream. Yeah. Yes, her glasses are made out of ice cream. If you will allow me, Please. I will take them off. They actually function like real sunglasses. Wow. Yeah, give us the breakdown of the accessories. Um, we have the earrings we made from ice small earrings. Um, we used the, the photo frost for the bow, oh. and then just like a little ice small uh, button. Wow. Um, we also made the watch using the photo frost for the flag. And the um, yeah. watch oh. It doesn't work. Is there any significance to that pattern? You can take American style. Um, when I heard that it was a Tommy Hilfiger Americana dress, I really wanted to play up on that theme. So I used the classic Tommy colors, I used the plaid, but I really wanted to make it kind of my style, which I use a lot of femininity. And I also like to do like masculine touches to it, so it looks kind of like leather, and it has that kind of structure to it. So it's like a nice play between masculinity and femininity, while keeping the Tommy Hilfiger Americana and, um, aesthetic to it.